This is Twit. Chris, I want to hear all about your new app. This is your first new app in five years. Uh, tell us about Action Dash. Please. Well, um, yes, it, it is. Uh, I mean, it's, I haven't been sleeping for, for five years, I should say. Action Launcher has <laughs> been, my, been my focus during that time. But You're busy um, with Action Launcher. Yeah. Yeah, but... Uh, but yes, Action, Action Dash, it is my first new app in five years. It's actually, um, if you would believe it, I had the idea for Action Dash before I even, before Linkbubble. Um, this was something I was, uh, because it, it always piqued my interest when you'd watch, uh, you know, like Google and Apple's keynotes. And uh, they'd come on and say, you know, we use our phones 70, you know, 70 times a day and that sort of stuff. And and I, it, it just struck me as, I wonder how many times I actually use my phone. So, so this was something that I started playing with, uh, you know, a long time ago. And then um, Google actually changed their APIs so that um, you couldn't. Uh, the, the way I, I prototyped it no longer worked as of Android five, and they added a new set of APIs. But um, anyway, long long story short, I, I kind of shelved it and uh, focused on Link Bubble and uh, and then Action Launcher, and then. Last year, in a big way, you know, both Google and Apple had big initiatives as far as um, in, in, you know, making users aware of how much time we're spending on these devices. And honestly, I, I felt a bit down for a while because I thought I'd missed the boat. But then I realized, well, hang on, like Google's initiative only works on uh, on Pixel phones. And then I feel it's 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 very similar to the launcher space where Action Launcher takes Google's launcher and offers the same features to everyone and then tries to make it better. Um, I should be able to do a very similar thing with uh, in, in the wellness space. So that's uh, so Action Dash was, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I've been sort of really focusing on Action Dash development for uh, certainly the, the latter part of last year. And, and that's what the app tries to be. It tries to uh, give you as many visual insights into how we use our phones so that you can, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a situation where you are wanting to cut down. It can just be you're just curious more than anything. Um, so, yeah, Action Dash aims to visualize how you use your device, basically. Cool. And I can jump in on a per app basis. And, uh, yeah, it's very interactive. Like, I, I love all of the different kind of modes and methods that you can go into. Definitely a little bit of similarity in some ways with digital well-being because that was the thing that everybody's kind of gotten used to. But obviously with Action Dash, this is a lot of that. I feel like I feel like there's a little bit more in, in the terms of, of granularity, a lot more. Like I love seeing, I love going to the unlock and seeing Saturday that I only had 32 unlocks. That's that's a great number for me. Good for you. I know. Fifty on Friday, twenty five. Dang, I'm I'm doing good. I'm not unlocking my good. phone for well, nothing. How are you, Jason? Good job. I'm not doing it for I'm nothing, a, man. I'm afraid to install this. <laughs> I know. Me too. Yeah, it's good though. I I love the vis the the visualization that you get, like seeing something, being able to tap into it and get some breakdown on how long you spend inside of those apps. You can learn a lot about yourself by analyzing how you use uh, your phone. Seems like a great well, way to do it. Well, certainly in in my case, when when the app first came online, um, it I, w I was probably using my phone for a three and a half hours a day, something like that. Um, but just by be becoming a lot more aware of it, um, that's that's cut way down. Like I, I'm, I'm usually not that much more over an hour a day now, and um, it's I and and certainly in particular, certain apps have suffered. Jason, you've uh, You've mentioned your your Facebook cull. Um, yeah, I, I I rarely check Facebook anymore, and my Instagram used to take up a lot of time, and now I'm I, I I only use it to post photos of the kids, and I just need to find a better spot for that. Um, but uh, yeah, it it's it's just been really eye opening to me um, because you you get to the end of the week and and you're like. Okay, if I if I could replay that week, you know, I spent you know three hours on on Twitter. Is that an effective use? Like, if I had that no. three hours again, <laughs> right? It's not an effective use. <laughs> there you go. <guys. laughs> yeah. So um, the the app really does not try to to preach or um, 
enforce hard limits or, or anything like that. Um, I mean, there, there may be features that come down the line as far as if, if users want to set limits and that sort of stuff. Um, and there's I, there's a few different ways that that could be achieved, um, which I'm still pondering. But at the moment, it's I, I just find it so fascinating just to find out how much I use the device and uh, and and just being really conscious of that. Yeah. Absolutely. And yet now you have a free version and then you have a, uh, a premium version, right? What, what exactly do you get when you pony up for the premium version? Well, the, the there's the one version of the app, but there's a, a right, one-time right, right. Sorry. App purchase. Um, but the, and to be, to be honest, the, um, I've spent the vast majority of my time using the non-premium version in testing. Um, I, I really feel like it offers a, a, a very, complete experience more so than than my apps traditionally have done which have uh have really tried to push people to to buy the upgrade um now the plus upgrade definitely gets you some features um certainly the dark mode is a uh, is a premium feature being able to jump back uh more than seven uh days in your history um there's a cool feature so that if you're a night owl which i'm not uh, i should add i'm i am the opposite of a night owl i am a whatever is in your day owl. A, a, 8.15, but, um, <laughs> the, uh, but if, you, if you traditionally go to bed at 2 a.m. or something, um, then you can set the end of the day to 3 a.m. so that that way those stats from midnight to 2 a.m. going to yesterday. So like you wake up and you're already, you know, at, at, at an hour and a half usage. Um, there's, uh, you know, a few more power user features like that and, and you get access to some more sort of uh, statistics and graphs. So uh, there's... There's definitely uh, you know reason to upgrade, uh, but at the same time, if you if you just want to get an overview of, of how your usage was this week and and use the daily reminder that comes in uh, every day at, at whatever time you like, um, giving you a quick overview of your usage, you can use that without paying anything. So uh, it's you, it, it's entirely uh, how pe- what people want from the app. Yeah, love it. Really well designed. Uh, which is no Great. surprise coming from you because your apps always look wonderful. Like they're very thoughtfully designed and uh, everything flows, nice animations. You know, it's it's enjoyable to use. So uh, really great well, job. It's, uh, it's, I mean, I, I do think the app achieves that. Um, it's, I think it's, it's worth mentioning that that's, uh, I, I feel like um, as someone who's released a few apps over the years, like this one, I, I feel like it's it was in a releasable state compared to basically anything else I've released mm-hmm. um, maybe two months ago. Um, but I increasingly find like this the standards for an app are, are getting higher and higher. Um, it's it's not enough just to have a static app. you've you've got to have these animations. Right. Um, and and it it just adds a, a lot more. It makes app development take that that bit longer. Um, but at the same time, it the the app looks that much better, and and that's the that's the standard now. Like the standard is, has just raised um, you know, over you know five years ago when tweet lanes went out without you know a settings page or, or supporting deep, uh, direct messages. So it's uh, it's a sign of the times that you know Action Dash is is trying to uh, uh, you know. To, to look the part and look like a, a, a professional modern app. And, and even Jason, if you, I don't know if you paid attention, like there's a, there's a really nice screen that, uh, that you only see once when you do the purchase. Um, oh yes. That right. Just, that, that, that showers you in confetti and that sort of stuff. So, uh, that yeah, over I, the top I, of it. yeah, I wish I could bring it back. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, a few people have said that, but, um, but yeah, I, I really have tried to make the app a uh, sort of polished experience and, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate the, the compliment is a, is a long way, long winded acceptance of it. <laughs> <laughs> right on Chris. Uh, great job.